what's up guys i've done an intro before but i don't like it please don't mind my bonnet i am packing so i'm going to be in republic it's like a good trip i'm going by road and everything so i just finished i'm space a mess i just finished washing i'm on my car trying to fold some clothes my fan is like drying some clothes so like this is chaos i'm probably not going to sleep at all i'm just watching youtube so I'll probably not sleep because <laughs> there's no even chance I'm, I don't even think I'm done. I just finished working. So I just have time now. I also want to prepare something for me to eat, like food. I have like sauce and stuff like that. So I don't even know how that's going to go. But I know that I have to eat some. I've not eaten yesterday because it's already past midnight. So I don't even know what's wrong with me. So anyway. Um I'll just show you guys what I'm doing. I'm packing, trying to pack, try to go. <laughs> because like the driver is going to come to my house around like 4 35 because of traffic and all of that. So yeah. I'll see you guys. Hi guys, so we started our journey to Bernard Republic in the morning. We get to us around 6 30. We go to the borders. There's so many checkpoints at the borders. I couldn't film it because I was scared, and this was just when I was quite tired. Then we entered um, Benin Republic. The first thing I noticed was the fact that they're buying fuel at back, um, in black markets. How we buy like black markets here because they said the fuel in Nigeria is cheaper than theirs. I don't know how it is now because obviously now our fuel is very expensive. We change money and. Um, yeah, I bought a SIM card because I just got to be in Republic. So I was stressed to enter this country. I mean, not from their end, though, but like from Nigeria's end, the stress was a lot. So, after changing SIM, stopping and buying, um, changing money, stopping to buy a SIM card, we entered the country. One thing I noticed about Kotonu itself, the Indian Republic in general, is how neat everywhere is. I'm not even going to exaggerate here. This country is extremely neat, extremely, extremely neat. I really did enjoy the scenery. Then we had to stop to get food. Everybody was hungry and everybody also wanted to use the bathroom. So we stopped to get food and also like just our stomach to something i got ice cream and we as we're waiting for our food to get ready i think all of us got ice cream actually and these were like the beautiful people i traveled with to be very honest i'm so grateful i was so scared because like i went alone but it was a good trip but then like everybody i met on this trip was so nice so wonderful like i felt like i was on a trip with my best friends that's how we felt so after eating, we went to our first hotel, which was in Kotonu. So guys, we're finally at our hotel. We literally just got here. I am tired. I know, like, I want to do this. Hi guys, I just go to my, I'm using my phone because my camera is giving me something I don't understand. We just go to our hotel now. Okay. And let me show you guys this space. Yeah, she like me is bad from that. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Yeah, after we kind of checked in and we entered our room, I really did like, I don't know, I don't know, I like the hotel, but I'm not sure of the bathroom. The lobby was quite nice, it was pretty, then this was our room. Uh, we didn't have like a window in our room, but I think the other people had, and this was our bathroom. The bathroom was extremely big. Oh, I didn't show you properly. It's our hotel. Sorry for the noise, but we're at our hotel. Let me show you guys this view. From it's not my room, but like it's like a balcony and all of that. We're at the hotel now. We're going out and we're actually in the view. You guys can see well, but like yeah, this is so beautiful. 
out to show like I wish you guys can see it. Maybe I'll take a picture when we go out and inside. But like this place is actually really pretty and all of that. So I'm going out now and I guess I'll vlog with my phone because I'm I'm not sure that I'm going to carry my camera. So I'll see you guys later. We went to the beach and to be honest, everybody just enjoyed the night. I like the food in general and almost after breakfast we had to check out because we're going to Rida to a living Kutunu from Rida and we checked out like I said the roads are very clean and very pretty We decided to make a quick stop at the Amazon statue, which is just the Roman King. If you watch Roman King, you probably understand this. And yeah. After that, we headed on to Rita. The journey to Rita from Kutuno was quite interesting. It was not so long. Yeah, I just basically enjoy the scenery. I get to see without going to the Python Temple and I did not enter. Guys, we're at the Python Temple. Let me zoom in so you see. You can see. But I'm not going inside because I'm not interested. Bye, guys. I'm not going in. I'm not interested. <laughs> we decided to walk to the museum um, just to check out the place. I'm not going to lie. Everything in Kotono or Benary Public screams voodoo. And coming from like a heavy Christian background, some things really scared me, but then I literally would like to also appreciate the culture of others. It was such, I think, more of an eye opener. I was still very conservative in some things, but at, at least with some things, you know, I think I just let loose a bit. After 
um, the views you only hear it to our second hotel, which was Casa de Papa. This is quite popular. And the place is just incredibly beautiful. Me just Hi guys, so this is our chariot. Let me show you guys the beach. Yes, yeah. Our view. Um, and see some other chariots here. And let's enter into it. We have this beautiful space, the lounge, and then here's the room, right? Um, and we have the future. I wanted to go swim but um, we decided to go kayaking at the lake house side and also after that we decided to go swimming kayaking and um, I don't know how the kayaking was but it was a bitter sweet moment for me. I was so scared and I decided never to kayak again because I went alone. Like, there was no like um, assist or trainer or like assistant helping me at that point. But I felt like it was still very fun. But I didn't stay so long inside the water. After kayaking, we decided that we wanted to go swimming and that was what we did exactly and after that we just had dinner and called it a night The next day when um, I woke up, I decided to go take a walk at the beach. I have this habit of picking um, shells by the beach. I really like them and I picked up some as souvenir. After that, I just, you know, stayed by the beach a bit and I took a walk. Then we went for breakfast later that morning. And after breakfast, it kind of started to rain. So we had to wait for the rain before we checked out because we were going to our last hotel. And this is where I lost a lot of my clips. All my clips for the tour of accommodation. I misplaced them. Or like they got misplaced somehow. I don't know what happened to them. I could swear that I had them. But yeah, I just had like minimal clips in my accommodation. So nice, that was the room I stayed in and everything was so pretty. and yeah the next day we got up that was the day we we're going back to nigeria we woke up and we went to kotunu
we were going to Babstock in Cotonou. You have to get on a boat to go to Babstock. And yeah, the place was also very pretty. The, the boat ride was very serene. And when we got there, we just had lunch and we headed back. We Stop to get some souvenirs before finally heading back to um, Nigeria. So yeah, um, I really did like my trip, and I I made some vlogs on TikTok and Instagram. I'll be dropping the links down below. I'm also, you can also get the links for the hotel in my description box. So yeah, bye guys, and I'll see you in my next vlog.